Have you ever wanted to learn how to interior design in Bloxburg? Well, today is your day. We're gonna learn how to interior design in Bloxburg. Okay, so I went over here to Pinterest and I searched up interior design. Um, there's different things you can learn how to interior design. Is like your bedroom, restaurant, wardrobe, kitchen. This has like your go-to place and you can literally search up anything and you'll find it. You'll literally find anything that you want on interior designing you've got. Um, you have your organic modern, your cottage core, your French country, your complementary, your urban modern, your English country, your Japandi, I think that's what it is, your art deck, deco, and your edgy. So I usually, my go-to design is a modern, cozy design. And you know, these are just the main styles. Um, so you can search up anything you want. I'm gonna search up modern interior design to see with what comes up with modern interior design. Um, you see a lot of all this is just modern. You get your little blacks, browns, whites everywhere. And I always bring it up with cozy. So let's try to do something with this in Bloxburg. And I can show you guys exactly what you can do while you're in Bloxburg. So we're gonna use this image right here. Okay, so I'm gonna, we're gonna recreate this image right here. I'll keep an image of this up as well, just so that we can see how we can recreate this image within Bloxburg as a modern home design. Okay, so let's hop right into Bloxburg and I'll see you guys right when we get into Bloxburg. Okay, so now that we're in Bloxburg, we're gonna start doing a little bit of a build. So up on the screen, you will see a picture of the build just so that um, you guys will get a little bit of um, you know, an idea of what we're going for. I have the picture over here on my other screen so that we can build it. So let's just start off by building some walls because first we want some walls. Um, we, we can't build anything without some walls. So let's just put some walls down and you could always adjust later. So now what I want to do is I want to start recreating the couches. So this, this is really an easy idea of what you can do. So the couch I want to get so first I want to go for the couch. I don't see a TV in here, so we're not going to put a TV in here. Obviously, you can shake up these designs with TVs wherever you want to put them, whatever you want. And I'll show you some things that the designs that I usually do for living rooms after this, after we use Pinterest. Um, so we want to go into your comfort section. I think, yeah, this we're still in the build. So you want to go over here to comfort. Now, one of the couches I do see that, that would probably fit this vibe will be because obviously everything's not going to be in here um i would use maybe the stylish sofa um obviously that one is about three seats so is there any three seaters or are these all two seater couch i think these are all two seater couches you can obviously do a lot of it with a modern hairpin but you know we're going to use the stylish sofa and we're gonna put this on the smallest grid because I like building with the smallest grid. Whenever you're building, whenever you're interior designing, you always wanna use the smallest grid because you can place anything wherever you want. So use the smallest grid to your advantage. Um, so let's see, what one do we want the Okay, so let's, let's do it as we're doing it down over here. So let's rotate our couch. Obviously these things can be changed up so let's move this right over here we obviously want to recreate that thing with the um tables so we want to get that like it's like a rounded table i don't think we have any round tall tables except for this um we obviously have this patio table as well but i don't want to use that there's di some dining tables so we could use this complementary end table right here I think that we can't resize that. Um, you know, let's undo that. Let's see the trendy around. You see, the end tables are always so hard to do. So if we just maybe move this over like so. And yeah, this one looks most like the picture. So we can use that. So the end tables, obviously, you always adjust things when you as you need it. Um, so then we go back into decorate. Let's get our comfort. Um, we want just a chair now. So one of the chairs that I may go for is, um, really cause it'll be, we don't have any comfort chairs. We could use the curved arm chair, um, cause the stylish sofa, there's no stylish chair. So I want to have something that will go with it, you know? Um, 
You know, it doesn't have to be exactly like the photo because you can use this. I really like using this one on most of them. Okay, so I usually put between big and small thing. Okay, so now let's start by coloring it. So you can obviously color this different. So I'm going to color it the exact way that I see it. So we're going to use um, cozy fabric. Um, leather let's go with leather for this and it's like about like a nice fossil-y um it's maybe a little bit toned down like maybe oyster as a leather color so we'll do that as well with leather and obviously it doesn't have to be exactly the same and then the pillows we could kind of the pillows you can't you can't design the color of the pillows so i'll just do these as white pillows and so oh wait no that is just brown yeah brown and then we put this as wood like so so you can see that's like that and then this is like a, you know like a different color that so we can do this maybe like you know like a little bit of a black and then we can put that as like white and then that also as like you know maybe just a dark gray color you know just shake it up a little bit obviously we can't see the whole photo in here but we see there's a little basket down over here so let's do this as all let's see can we have like baskets and yeah, we have a wire mesh basket um for the for the sake and the ideas of this let's just put like you know a laundry basket in here since there's like no woven basket you know you can put the wire mesh basket you know because it doesn't have to be exactly the same it just has to be similar and obviously you can see this interior design has like a little bit of a window in the back so we can build a window um i don't know exactly what window it is but we can use a window it doesn't really matter which window you use just as long as it goes we have large industrial window i feel like that is way too large we have the panel window let's do with a panel window and we can do decorate you can also use your curtains since there is a curtain in here um i will go for this curtain for the dual curtains like so and you can see that it's starting to take shape a little bit of what it is and you decorate your little um lights so now we have some lights that we want to put down um no let's just do carpets first yeah right here carpets and we can do simple carpet. Um, obviously, it's going to be like so. And I, I know that Bloxburg likes to do that sometimes. So, so it doesn't go under there fully, but we see this. And we can do this right here as cozy fabric. Right here, so cozy fabric. And it's more so like a tannish color. So we can do maybe that color. As you can see, it kind of does that. And these wall colors, they are a little bit of a nice gray color. So we can do maybe that's it's already medium stone gray. So we could probably do it like light stone gray for the color of the walls. Um, so now we want to decorate. We want to go into here into our lighting. So obviously we're, we're, we're taking this photo and now we could use any lamp we see. The log table lamp will go best maybe for that. And we can see maybe we do this as a linen color light. Because that pretty much matches that. And ooh, that's a really fun colored floor lamp a little fun floor lamp i see this as a fun floor lamp so we could put this here as well as a fun floor lamp and you know it's just you just take you just take piece by piece what you want and we can search up you know a modern uh, picture frames because we can use these modern frames so we can see like there's a little bit of a small picture frame of this right here doesn't really have to be exact but I like some things being some sort of exact. So then we, it's just, you see, you see how this looks good enough to be in it there. So obviously we can just take this a little bit right here. And look at that. 
Now we just now we just put the floor down. Where's my floor? Here's my floor. So now we just put the floor down. We put this right here as like, you know, planks long and we can see that those planks are kind of like, you know, not a really dark brown color. We could put this maybe not linen, maybe that color. That color looks good. And you can see that now this entire room gets tied together and we can see that this is kind of like, you know, like a little bit of a light brown color like so, and it's just kind of like that. And now you can see that it looks so cool. And now what we need to do is we got to put the table in the middle and top it off with some decorations on that table. So yeah, I'll be back once this room is finished. Okay, and now we're back with our Pinterest recreation of this lovely room right here. So we can see it's not exact, we kind of did a little bit of shake-ups a little bit here, so you don't have to do exactly like exactly like the picture. You can do like a little shake-ups just so that you can get the Bloxburg feel in there. So that's really amazing. Now I'm gonna show you guys my little design of a room that I usually do, and it's pretty much the exact same like this. So let's just grab our walls. Um, so I pretty much just have like a room so it doesn't need to be that big because i don't want it to be that big so my rooms i usually go for that modern cozy modern vibe we could maybe do maybe that right there with some like white wall so that could be like our accent wall and you pretty much i just take the couch again put it here color it so like you know it's just it's just kind of like that and you can see like a picture like see from my Bloxburg home which I'm gonna go come back with one of my Bloxburg homes so you guys can see how I put mainly interior design okay so now I am back and we are looking at the Bloxington mansion one of the recent home renovations that I have done now you can see kind of right here I kind of go for like those little modern picture frames I go for like this complimentary modern kind of vibe a little bit and you can, you can see that I used this stylish sofa with this and added a little bit of a rustic in here. And you can see it looks a lot modern because I used a little bit of like, you know, some blacks, grays, and stuff like that. And there's a lot of white in here. So that's pretty much my go-to little designs. Um, you know, a little bit of color shake up in here with the red stuff. But, you know, this house wasn't finished. But, you know, who cares? But yeah, that's pretty much how you can interior design. I really use Pinterest, I use Google, and I kind of go with some of my own designs rather with what I want to do with my own builds. Like if I were to decorate my own home, how would I want it to be decorated, you know? You can you can have a little bit, bit of fun. You don't always have to follow Pinterest. You can do your little bit of shakeups a little bit, which means that you can just, you know, put your own spin to it. And I kind of like that. So that's pretty much how you interior design in Bloxburg. It's, you know, it's pretty easy once you get used to it. So just look up on Pinterest, look up different designs you want to do, figure out what kind of design of a house you want to do. If you want to do a modern home, obviously look up modern designs. If you want to do like a cabin, rustic vibe, go for like, you know, cabin interiors, something a, a little bit along the lines of those, those will pretty much help. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy and this was some helpful tips for you, you know, looking at Pinterest, doing your own designs and stuff like that and showing you the interior design um uh, on how to interior design it um maybe subscribe like whatever because i do content like this and i have content all spread out throughout the weekend uh as well so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy it if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to like maybe subscribe share it with your friends just so this video can get across to more people just so i can broaden my audience and thank you guys so much for watching i can't wait to see you guys in the next one see you guys later goodbye oh,